you like it. <laughs> I was until just now. <laughs> it's beautiful, yeah. Okay, so we are making a fence, kind of, sort of starting it, and I'm making it out of scrap wood that I found on this property. Let me show you where I got it. Okay, we're heading out past the, the sheds and into the <laughs> abandoned part of the property. We don't go out here very often at all, for good reason. Basically, it's just hard to get to. We have to cross several fences and several piles of, of debris. But right over here is a pile of wood and metal. This is just one of many. But I think we can use this stuff in here. Um, I actually, I think that's where I got these other ones. <laughs> This pile has been here since we purchased the place and it looks like it's been there for at least 10 years before that. Um, but I can see I can see that there are at least some one by fours, just like the ones I got. Oh, and here's another pile right here under it. Okay, so we'll, we'll do some digging real quick. Um. Okay, so I actually wasn't sure what these were. I knew that we had these on the property, but I'm only now seeing that it looks like they're part of shipping crates or something for like, old snowmobiles or something like that. Look at that, wow. Not only are they consistently sized, but they're really nice. Okay, well, let's get a few out. Maybe. <laughs> Because this is nicer, I don't want to take it apart. That's awesome. It has all this lichen or something on it. Is that what that's called? That's beautiful. So this is what you this is the size of the ones that you use for the fence? Yeah. Cool. Look at the roots of that plant wow. down there. <laughs> this is the first time in all the years we've lived here that we've ever even attempted to move this pile. Okay, we'll get these out and we'll get back to you in a minute. Look what we found. Good thing we didn't find it by grabbing it. Yeah, I That's... can't believe they're not. I'm glad. Right I'm glad they're not swarming us. It's kind of creeping me out, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> Really beautiful wood. There's something kind of fun and authentically farmy and farmsteady about being out here in this rugged part of the property. The the weeds are high. They've obviously not been taken care of. These piles haven't been gone through for years and years, and it's just fun. I don't know what it is about it, but I, I kind of long for this, and I've forgotten that I long for it. I'm working so much in the house and flower beds and the kept up garden, and it's just nice to explore a little bit. <laughs> Anytime I see an abandoned building, I'm like, oh, and I totally want to go in there. The mystery and the, the, just the age and the smell and all of the things that haven't been touched for years. It's just so cool. Yeah, it's like you're happening upon some old sunken pirate ship or something. <laughs> but I don't want to like fix it up because that would take the magic away from it. So I think that'd be really fun to have parts of that on our property on purpose. You know, build a little shack or something for the kids to play in and then have it go forgotten yeah. and be overgrown and then purposely do it so that you can go in and have it be like your secret hideout. A secret garden that's overgrown with moss and ivy and stuff. I want our whole property to feel like that, but <laughs> I'd too. like the juxtaposition of having places that are cultivated so that you can tell the difference. Otherwise, it's, I yeah, don't know, if everything it's is the magic camp, has then. to be happening by the juxtaposition of the two. 
some balance, I guess. Yeah. It's like being a kid again. <laughs> what can we make out of this stuff? Do all kinds of little projects. I'm thinking in kid terms, like I could make, I could make a go-kart out of this. All right, we're gonna take these over to the front flower bed and see how big of a fence we can make. Look at that big beam. We gotta use that for something. Oh yeah. That's huge. Wow. Whatever we do with it, it'll be something. <laughs> something awesome, that's for sure. <laughs> That's fantastic. Those are shorter. I can tell. Yeah, well we found out the ones that we just got are a little less squared off and perfect. And they're actually a little bit shorter than the other ones. So we're going to mix and match. We're going to make it look like a fence that's already been here for 100 years. Just come up with something that looks kind of artsy. Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, obviously they're just leaning against it right now. We're kind of just trying to size up everything just to see what it looks like. And, oh wow. <laughs> okay, if you can imagine this window obliterated and new period correct windows put there and there. Tall and skinny with panes in it. Finished house. Banjo standing in the gate. Sweet girl. Okay, this is the vision for the whole thing. Okay, um, I've got to pause and paint this. So, <laughs> let me go grab my easel and stuff. I'll be right back, okay? All right, I've got my easel set up. And I'm going to paint this little stand of hollyhocks. Although all of this is beautiful and it's difficult to choose one spot in a beautiful flower garden such as this. But for today, I'll just focus on that. They're called hollyhocks. That is so cute. <laughs> I love it, Banj. Yeah, I am. finished the painting, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this fence tonight or not. I haven't really nailed anything in. It's just sitting here. But, <laughs> but I sure do like the look of it. 
Now that we've found this resource on our property uh, that is better than we knew before, um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about especially the, the lichen covered <laughs> fence posts here, or um, fence slats. And they're really pretty. And I like that it looks like it's been here for longer than we've been here. Perhaps even longer than I've been alive. I like things that have history, even if they're, they've been given a new purpose. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to it tonight. We'll see. But I'll close this video for now. And uh, thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching the commercials too, because that does support us a little bit. Makes it more worthwhile for us to put in the many, many hours each day that it takes to edit and, uh, and, and shoot these videos. For those of you who are interested in buying prints of my paintings or even the real paintings themselves, we really appreciate the support. See you guys.